Afternoon world, welcome to Saturday the 11th of June. Uh, it is late in the day, okay? I've done no filming today. It is almost six o'clock. Almost got away with doing no video at all today. Um, so one little job I have intended to do this weekend, and I'm going to do it now, is to Casey. We bought this truck a couple of months ago, as you're well aware. Um, um, uh, somebody mentioned the day, oh, about flashing lights and uh, reflectors and stuff like that. Um, Casey is missing its rear reflectors. And there's no real excuse, actually, because I've got one, or it's a bit dirty enough in the power wash I won't put back um, but we've delayed putting that on because we lost our pot rivet gun and before anybody rushes out to Amazon and orders me a pot rivet gun don't because one of the reasons I didn't make this video before is I've already done it okay don't need to send me anything I've already bought it uh, so yeah it's a really simple little job I'm gonna fit that to that uh, while I'm here, I'm also going to remind you about that. This is our Wellmec Urban SMH70, which basically is a branch logger. We bought this 2018, because at the time it was a good idea, and we bought it as a, another way of processing wood. Hardly been used. I mean, it's still got most of the paint in there. Basically, all it is is two sets of revolving blades inside there, that meet and spin round and chop small, small material, looking sort of two, three inch, three inch maximum on softwood diameter timber, just chops it into little two inch lumps. Put the bag on the chute and they've, well, let's put it this way. It's faster than one bloke. If you put stuff in that end, it will fill the bag faster than you can empty the bag and refill it again. So it's like, it's kind of a two man job. Uh, so this is a sales pitch. I, two people have so far said, oh yeah, we'll have that. We'll come and buy that off of you. I paid something like 3,200 pounds for that, which was a lot of money at the time. Uh, they're actually more than that now, but this thing sat in my workshop, gathering dust, earning nothing. Got a brand new engine on it. I mean, that engine's probably done 20 hours work ever. And I want to flog it. So if somebody wants a branch logger, this is ideal. You can tow it around behind your car. It's a fully road legal trailer. You can tow it around behind your car. You can tow it around behind your quad bike or your little side by side, whatever you want to do. And if you've got <coughs> loads of small branches that you want to convert into fuel for your log burner or boiler, that's what this is made for. So really, really simple little thing. Uh, I bought it because I thought it'd be a good idea. We've never used it because we've got a chipper. This takes up to two to three inch material. Chipper takes six to seven inch material. And you can only tow one machine at a time. And the guys would rather tow the machine that produces the bigger or processes the bigger timber. Just, we just never used it. So it sat there gathering dust, doing nothing. I want to flog it. Someone out there wants it. Just come and buy it off of me, please. Right, okay. I need a drill. I wonder if you're charged up. You might be charged up. These are our drills. We usually use these most of the time for fitting eco plugs. So these, these little fellas are how we kill tree stumps. Um, we use that drill bit, which is basically a bog standard drill bit that I welded a washer on it. That washer would drill a piece, preset hole exactly the right depth, excuse me, one-handed, exactly the right depth that when you tap this chap into the hole, it forces that white plunger up, which breaks a little vial inside there, 
which releases neat glyphosate. And that's how we kill stumps. So, but that's not what I'm using this for today. Today, I want this. And that, I wonder if that one will do. That might be big enough. Right, let's try it. We'll have those as well, just in case. That's the little spanner set that Peter Rolf sent me. Thank you, Peter. Okay. Spare battery. Drill bit. Ready to go. Oh, I suppose this might be useful. So I think I paid 20 quid for that for this tool. Um, I bought it on the value of the reviews that I got on Amazon. So yeah, I bought it off Amazon and it came in a nice little case. So, you know, free. Not free, nothing's free. Right. Are they going to be man enough for the job? Hmm, only just. So we're going to want bigger ones. I'm still not sure they're man enough for the job. After all that, me telling you how clever I am buying a rivet gun, I'm hoping I've got one that's actually big enough because it looked a lot bigger in the pictures. Is that the right size? What size do I want? That one? That one? Green one. Okay, green one. Seems quite well built, but the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. I'm not sure you're long enough to go in there. You're not. Damn. Okay. About an inch underneath. Once I've got the middle one in, the rest should be straightforward. So I won't put you right in yet, or will I? That's pretty good actually. Yeah, you're going right in there. One. There you go. Just needed a bit of persuading. All right. So we're now in the middle, shall we? So, not the most riveting, exciting thing in the world you're going to watch this week. There's probably channels with haymaking and soilage going on somewhere, but that's their day, not mine. We're getting there, albeit not very fast, but it is happening. So um, while I'm just doing this, I will say uh, one of you recommended and sent me a link to a Australian TV series called Mr. In Between. Um, so I was sent uh, a link to have a look at this. Uh, it's quite violent. It's not for your kids. It's it's can I put a light-hearted, good-hearted hitman. 
the dogs found a rabbit. Um, yeah, I've, um, I've quite enjoyed the story. It's a bit of a, not sort of life I would want, but yeah, thanks for the recommendation. I'm kind of, I think I'm on episode six of the second series now. This will stay on here longer than a couple of weeks. So, as long as Martin doesn't knock it off, or whoever's driving the truck. Okay, that is on there, pretty solid now. And I've even got it the right way up. All it needs, it's a bit of a clean, but um, yeah. So this is part of chapter eight. So if you're parking vehicles on the road, working on the road, or even if you're working off the road, but parking on the road, um, legally, we need to have high-vis, high-reflective um, ta tailgate, um, flashy lights. There's only actually one beacon on there. We would like to, we've got a big beacon bar. We might just, um, might just change that over. Um, doors have got to have reflective strips. So if you're working on the road at night and you open your door, then if there's a car coming behind you, there's got to be a reflective strip, all part of chapter eight. So uh, pretty much, you know, reflectors wherever we can. But that was the one, that one there, that was the one that was missing. And now it's not. So now I'm kind of back in the rule book. Okay, put you lot away. Sorted. Well, it's a lovely, warm, pleasant evening. Half past six, almost half past six. Um, been watching the weather closely, and although there's a couple of um, apps that can't agree about Thursday, one says we've got a 50% chance of rain, and the rest are saying bright sunshine until next Sunday, I think. Um, I think it's going to be a case of I'll be speaking to our contractor maybe tomorrow and seeing if he can maybe maybe cut tomorrow um, it's gonna make it's gonna make this week completely manic because of course Wednesday and next Saturday is TB uh, yeah oh hello what have you vandals been up to in here right Okay, I need to sort that out. Was that you? You blinking RSU? <sighs> Someone's been messing around with the water trough and I reckon it was him. I don't think it's been leaking for an awful long time because there's not a lot of wet down there. <sighs> right. I might have to think of a more permanent solution than that. Anyway, as I was saying, Wednesday is TB1, Saturday is TB2. So if we do go mowing Sunday, it's going to make um, spinning, turning hay. <sighs> Well, it's going to be a, a hectic week. I have deliberately taken it gently this week because I know what's coming or what potentially is coming. By the end of next week, I could be frazzled. Patrick. at it again. Oh. Come on, mind your edge, you. Hooligan. Ah. Thank you, thank you.
Made a mess of that again, didn't you? I suppose it serves me right, put it too close. You are a naughty devil, ain't you? Hello, sweetheart. Hello. It's all because that bale tastes better than the last bit of that bale. My dog's down here licking her lips. I wonder if anybody can take a wild guess at what she's been eating. It smells like cow. Yeah, 5H1T. You dirty little monkey, what are you eating that for? Sit on my lap later on. So much for a quiet Sunday afternoon. Right, Abby and Henry just come in to borrow a water tank and a bunch of fittings. I've taken the old fittings off, given them some new ones. They're off to the farm to move some sheep, because tomorrow we're mowing. In fact, tomorrow is going to be a complete mayhem and hectic day. <sighs> amongst, amongst the things that are going on tomorrow are... Very early start for me on the tree team because I've got to go off and look at um, a lot of tree work with the consultant over in Nailsworth. Guys need my Land Rover, so I've got to put the high sides on that. And you're leaving. Ruin it. Eh? You come to ruin it? Filming. Yeah, okay. Well, I was just explaining what's going on. We need a drill. Over there. Over where? There. In the black box? Yeah. Uh, you might want some drill bits, which are in that box. Oh, I'll have the diddly girl box. Okay, is that because you're a diddly girl? Okay, just bring them back, because lots lads will want that tomorrow. Oh, will they? What a shame. Eh? What you say, Henry? Drill them by hand. Drill them by hand? Turning yeah. All right. I'll see you. So we've got blue pieces, blue fittings. Well, we've got fittings. Fittings, everything you tank. need. Drill for the piece. He's got wood and the um, rope as well to do that gateway. So they, we will move them all up today. Yeah, they're ready for tomorrow. And then tomorrow, doesn't matter when he gets there. Yeah. It's done. Okay. Well, it's just, I don't want it to be that I go, oh, I'll do it tomorrow night, and him go, oh, Ian. Yeah, <laughs> sheep, sheep rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many sheep did you have out there? And now there's two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. When, when I can stop people getting every, everyone getting annoyed about number, number twelve. 12. Okay. I think it's very sweet of him. And he's a pain in the ass. To be honest, actually, out of all the pet lambs I've had, he's a pain in the ass. No, he's not. That's the thing. Well, he's only a pain in the ass because he's over there. No. What I'm saying is, pets I've had in the past. Yeah. Come on. They've been jumping up, head butting, and you just think, oh my god, you're so, I can't. Yeah. Hey, out of it! Yeah, don't wind the bees up. And, um, and, um, but no, he just, he runs up to you, he stops about there, so yeah. he's not like, wet yeah. you, and he just toddles on along up by you. Okay. As he's milking, that's pretty much the end of it. He's still a pain in the ass. No, but in the grand scheme of pet lambs. He's less of a pain in the ass. He's not really that much of a pain. Yeah, he's enough. It's a sheep. That's enough. Gateway. So, right, you're going there. Oh, f cheers! <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Oh, lovely to see you. Yeah, lovely to see you. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Well, I've got my own things to do. Sheep are her thing, not mine. Okay, we're a bit ready for tomorrow. Um, glad I got that fitted on there because we're going to need that. Um, I've got to get some chevrons for the back of my Land Rover, but I'm going to put them on the doors. I'm not going to put them on the bottom. Um, I don't really want it on there, to be honest. So the guys tomorrow are going to be taking Wilf, Picker, um, Chipper, loads of signs, um, but they're going to be, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to have left the farm tomorrow before they, before they get here. I've got to be in Nailsworth at the same time as they got to be here. I got an early start tomorrow. So I'm just making sure that everything is done today that when I leave tomorrow morning before they get here, 
they know exactly what they're doing. So they already know where they're going. They've already got a pretty good idea of what they're doing, but they'll have a written instruction and everything else. So, so everybody, everybody knows. So although I've got an early start, I'm still gonna have to get back soon enough, possibly to take Mrs. P. She's got a dental appointment tomorrow and, and she's almost certainly gonna have to have jabs for that. But I also need to get this guy ready for, well, I've got to turn some hay. Uh, contractor's gonna cut it tomorrow. He said tomorrow morning. If that's right, then I'll try and get over there with this tomorrow afternoon and get the um, cut crop spun before any due or anything else for the next day. And then it'll be back over Tuesday, probably lunchtime-ish, spin it again. Wednesday, we got part one TB test. Um, so hopefully that won't take too long. Then I'll be back over at spin it again Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, also my brother's turning up. He's over from Gran Canaria. So I dare say he wouldn't mind having a go doing this. Uh, so if he wants to, I'll let him spin Thursday, Friday. Hopefully we're gonna row it up and bail it. And then Saturday, uh, we've got to move some of the crop off one of the fields. I thought he was flat for a minute, but it's not. But, um, so Saturday, it might be, uh, well, Friday night even, or Saturday, back over and move some bales off one piece of ground so Abby can put her sheep out because I think Abby is shearing, or her sheep are being shorn, on Thursday. Uh, we're so close to her weaning date and um, what she said, because t um, taking <coughs> ewes away from the lambs and shearing them, when you reintroduce them, it takes them a little while to work out, are you my mum? Are you my mum? Because the lambs don't recognise their mums. Um, and there's a little bit of stress involved. And sometimes, because we are so close to weaning, literally only a couple of weeks away, it might even be a case of um, she might wean the lambs a week, 10 days early. Um, and then you've only got one stress point rather than the two. So we'll see. That's up to her to, to do that. Oh, that nest really has come on leaps and bounds. So collared dove has made a nest up in the top up there. <laughs> yep, she's, she's quite comfy up there by the looks of it. So that is gonna be our first nesting bird in the new barns. It was almost bound to be a collared dove, either that or a sparrow. Okay. Right, not much I've got to do in there. Um, because our TB reactor came from this group last time, in an ideal world, I would swap everything around and have all the other cattle in this side because the handling system is so much better in this side. But because these guys have been in here, they've been kept separate from everybody else. If there's gonna be a reactor, it's, possibly going to be from this bunch. So for the sake of a little bit of extra work, we've, we've decided to keep it status quo as it is. These guys can stay in this side. It'd be really easy to do these. It's going to be a lot harder to do the other ones, but it's the way we've done it for years. It won't be the end of the world. So. What are you doing in there? Why are you in there and everybody else is down the bottom? Hey, what's going on? All the rest of the cattle. Did you fall asleep and they went without you or something? Is that what happened? Come on, I think you should go and find your mother me. Go on, that's what's happened, isn't it? You've fallen asleep in there and they've all gone off without you. And now you can't work out how to get out. Go on. Go on. There you go. Go on. Go on, that way. No, not that way. Go on, out in the field. There you go. Go on, hop it. Keep going, just keep going. 
he sussed it. Okay, so we're clear for tomorrow. Tree team are off to Breadstone. I'm off to Nailsworth early, hopefully back in time to take the missus to the dentist. Should be back from that by two o'clock. And that'll be a case of top her off the case, fuel the tractor up, check on my fluids, my oils, lights, all that. Um, Lotus on, grease it up, over to the farm. Yep, that's the plan. <laughs>